taking that two step for one fall. Into the sick group, Rosa Gomez, Palacios, Durango, Mexico. Weighing 220 pounds, Ultimo Guerrero. Like you said, a total legend, Arudo. In the arena, Mexico, most of his career, see, I don't know, but here, pretty loves. Always raising the roof. Oh, very much beloved. You know, he and Ray Bucanero, three times the CMLO World Tag Team Champions. He was a former CMLO World Champion. He's held those tag titles six times in total. I gotta think that gives him an advantage heading in to this great exhibition, especially when he's teaming with a man of this caliber man for who over two years held one more both the World Television and World Championship. His partner, Russell and Elizabeth, New Jersey, weighing 230 pounds, Jimmy Whistle! This man is number the whole cooking here tonight from nearby Elizabeth, New Jersey. They are lethal just across the bridge, right? Absolutely, yes. right outside New York.
off the champion and bring it to him. So right now the boys are fanning off that well. It looks like he almost got yeah, him, a, he's, got uh, him he, a good one. I thought he lacerated him. Yeah, he took a pretty good uh, pretty good crack at him there. See that welt on the back of Dalton Castle. That's how he's got to start the match, but it could have kick-started him. We'll see. We'll see that great Ring of Honor World Championship from Bobby Cruz. That's what I like to see. Look at that. Code of Honor. And here, too, the two men that will meet in less than one week's time. Two men that respect each other quite a bit, Colt. We can't get a, a mic in here right now, but you wonder what that's going on right now. Well, get a little Dalton. bit more serious with each... Uh, yeah, Dalton's known to crack wise, which might be doing right now to, to Jay, which you can tell is maybe upsetting him a little bit. I may have gotten under skin a little bit. Ultimo Guerrero and Volador not participating in the Code of Honor, but I think that was because they didn't want to get involved with what was happening, a champion and challenger. So CMLL takes a step outside. And Ring of Honor represents to start this match. There he is. This is what we will see this Friday. See Dalton Castle defend that world championship. In, in my opinion, Colt, his biggest test yet. One-on-one, -on -one, everything on the line will come this Friday on pay-per-view. But right now, the fun feeling out process with a couple uh, asterisks by their side. In the name of Ultimo Guerrero and the Volador G. And, and they couldn't have picked better partners either, Cole. As this relationship grows with CMLL, you know, we've seen Dragon Lee, we've seen Titan, we've seen Silverado Jr., we've seen SVNA, we've seen all kinds of the great stars. From, from Mexico and the talent that competes at Arena Mexico. And they picked two of the very, very best. Feeling out process, Greco Roman knuckle lock here. Lethal decides to go under using that shoulder to put a point of pressure on the chest of Castle. Castle trying to push down with his head. Now, great amateur background from Dalton Castle. slouch either is evident by all the successes he throws he goes big shoulder tackle though sends lethal to the ground Just drop down castle off the ropes with the rocket of beauty drop down by lethal oh, come on. he caught him come here bangarang bangarang no rolls him up ducks the close line here we go lethal and no Ooh, good block by Dalton almost took a shot there but most importantly did not get injected Smart for, uh, especially when you have two boys that'll just fan you up. Go outside and take a breather. One. And these two men trying to get their best shot in right away, wasting no opportunity. Now those, uh, both of those moves are moves that can instantly win you a match. Here in Ring of Honor, if Castle the champion or Lethal the former champion hits them. Sure, but both of them know better. I mean, they've been around the block. Two good vets. Dalton Castle that, takes him by the ankle, takes him down. It's going to be have to be a have to be a wear down process, and there will be. We, we talked a lot at final battle about the journey of Dalton Castle as it goes for a bit of a clover leaf. There, as we look into the ropes. Castle's been wrestling amateur since age 12. Joined the professional ranks. Saw him first at the Top Prospect Tournament 2015. He was able to rise to the occasion, won the championship. Final battle 2017. That's when you first saw him. I saw him years ago on the scene. Just trying to make his name. Yeah! Trying to become a wrestler. And look at him now. The top of the world. A hip toss. He's out of the way of the drop kick. And look at Lethal. So smart, so quick. He 
He knows if, if Castle gets in that offensive position, if he gets that go behind that waist lock, the Castle can do so much submission technical work. You kind of saw Morguero and, and Jay. It's almost like they didn't really, they weren't having a verbal conversation. They kind of with their eyes and kind of shrugged at him. It looks like they made a decision. There he goes. Tag in Ultimo Guerrero. And you got to think that Dalton might just do the same here. Absolutely. And Colby, these two men do have some history. 2017-2018. Uh, Volador Jr. has requested a fan up. I don't blame him. You might as well use what you got. Hey, hot hey, here. Hey, 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 hey. Piss off Dalton Castle, you, you mess with those boys. I know from experience. I think he's, just, I think maybe he's jealous. You know, it, I'm sure they'd fan him too if he just asked. This is where the language barrier comes in, Cole. Dalton Castle just threatened to break Ultimo Guerrero's mullet. Ooh. A nice don't touch boys chant going here by the folks of New York City. Excited to see these guys, of course, we see Volador had a, a kind of a bandaid on his nose, took a shot in Mexico. He's gonna wear that mask on. We'll see if it affects his performance tonight. And I was just thinking, Cole, maybe the, the crowd might want to chant, no molesta los hombres. No bother the boys. I'm impressed, Ian. Look at this. I'm impressed with these two gentlemen. Ultimo Guerrero, former CMLL world champion. He's held just about every championship in CMLL. You notice how they're still locked onto that arm. Haven't let go through the whole sequence. There it is with an arm drag by Volador. Looking nice. And confident. Sure is that CMLL Universal Championship Tournament win. He's been a tag team champion with La Sombra. And these two gentlemen, are no love lost between one another. In fact, you need to look no further than the 2017 2018 Fantastic Amania Tours with CMLL and New Japan in Japan. These two have been on opposing sides of tag team matches, six man matches, and eight man matches. This front face lock grabs that wrist like you said, Colt, keeps going back to it. Grabs the ankle, takes down Volador. Volador using his body like a pendulum to swing Guerrero down. Cover gets out of it. Sweeps it down. Cover. Difference of styles we get to see here in New York City. Something you can see weekly at Arena Mexico. We're so glad to have it here. It's such a special attraction when we do get to see these great athletes. Yeah. Make sure to thank the Ring of Honor management. Ooh, look at this. Whoa! Charging in. Connects. That's why Guerrero's so smart. He saw where Volador landed. Followed him right in, charging, diving clothesline. Driving through the chest of Otto Jr. There we go, signature. Ooh. Hip toss drop kick, cover one, two. For some reason, Alfred Rivera is still in the ring. And he really wants to get out of Volador, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, he wants more of Volador here. And maybe some tag team work here. Look at this. Pops him up, puts him down. Drop kick from Guerrero. Drop kick of his own. Oh, Jim hanging. Looking for a little love. There you go. A high 10. Is that a tag? Paul Turner saying no tag, just a celebration. He wasn't close enough to the corner. Off the ropes. Big back elbow. And look at Alto. He won <laughs> seven. Two. What we talked about is pedigree, right? Six times CMLL World Tag Team Champion. Most notably with Ray Bucanero. Three times. Of course, this is contested under American tag team rules, not Lucha tag rules. That's a great point, Cole. Ooh, up and over goes Guerrero. Look at that, flying Frankenstein. Huracanana by Volador makes the tag out of the world champion. It's Dalton Castle in the ring. He's in there with Jay Lethal, but he's telling Volador, hang tight. And who knows what he's telling him? Ooh. Who knows how much Spanish he knows? I know he's Catalina. I'm sure they're talking some. Oh, 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 wow. Wow. And I don't know if we caught that, but Jay Lethal cracked his head on the way down, not just against the buckle. Hey, hey, hey. One, Paul two, Turner says the ref, the match will continue, and you can see how aggressive it is. Two. Words of LL Cool J, he rocked the bell there. Grabbing that arm, going under the chin with that wrist, that point of the wrist, Colt, right into the Adam's house. Good transition there, too. 
doesn't look to be locked. And Jay Lethal able to escape. It gets back to a vertical base, but very smartly, now Castle and Volador Jr. are on the same page. Ooh, great throw, amateur style. Nice splash from Volador. Over the cover. One, two. Just a two count. Back to the chin lock, resting all of his weight on Jay Lethal. See a great shot of this crowd here, sold out for months, Cole. Always, always big shows, New York City, look at the shot. This wonderful crowd here, Hammerstein Ballroom. Four stars, big stars in the world of professional wrestling all around the world. Interesting strategy by Polidor, letting Lethal free without going right to another submission. I don't know if this might cost him, Colt. He let Lethal catch his breath a little bit, go to the corner. He looks to be in charge right now, looking to send him corner to corner. Sorry, he's pointing out Dalton. Hey, hey, what? Dalton will put him in that corner. Shirts is wow, big knee. Collapsing lethal. And the world champion, less than one week away, taking it to the challenger, too. Great tag team match. We're still to come here tonight. Ultimate Mayhem. Kingdom. Team with Shane Taylor against six man tag team champions Adam Page and the Young Bucks and the villain Marty Skrull. You know, Volador Jr. kind of looks like one of the boys, Colton. Do you think that had anything to do with maybe why Dalton? Wow! Yeah, hold that thought. He does have some boy qualities. Nice right? select him as his partner. I'll be honest, Volador Jr. is definitely a man. Sure is. His accomplishments certainly state that. Irish whip corner to corner here. Wow! Falls him in. Big boot. Lethal. Don't be home with a drop kick. Great quickness by Volador. What he's known for it too, although he's the most like no Jay. He does it for a tag there, very close. Real on the ropes though. Yeah, Lethal looking for an insecure, he got it. He connects, he creates space. All he has to do is reach out and touch somebody here, Colt. Need to make the tag, he's been in there a while now, Colt. Looks like he's good enough. Dalton at first, and now Altimo Guerrero in. With the tag rope, legal tag, here he goes. Back come on, close line. He's raising. And that great team mark. Oh, but up and over goes the champion. For Guerrero. Guerrero's on fire. Big drop kick. Dalton flies down. Sure does. Wait a minute, Volador Jr. Ticket, same way Jay Lethal can. Lethal asking for Castle to be brought back to his feet. Nice scoop slam. Did we get a tribute? Man? Oh, no. Now, Volador. Volador letting these four great competitors just fight it out. More of a Lucha Libre style match now. You're going to hear the gasp by not only myself, but the whole crowd here. You can tell these two have talked. I mean, something's in. Oh, no! Oh, oh. oh he caught him. Tosses him. A great throw. Goes behind. Stalling Bridge and German. Two. No. Now, Volador's so dangerous. It looked like he may have been going for that Volador spiral that. 
Hurricane Rana driver, he won with a super card of honor, but as quickly things change, we saw Ultimo Guerrero hit one of his signatures, and we saw that great throw from Dalton Castle. Oh, Boulder tags as soon as he does, Jay Lethal has him on the outside. Whoa! Right in someone's lap. And fans, you can't take him home as a souvenir. He's the legal man. So here we go. The main event of the 16th anniversary in Las Vegas, Nevada, in the middle of the ring. Yeah, these two men, the challenger, paintbrush is the champion. And now the champion with one of his own. Mecca Shop connects, and another from Castle, and a straight right, and the jet, and here we go, Colt, the challenger, the champion, Las Vegas, Nevada. These two men will compete for the richest prize in Ring of Honor. And look who's up top right now. Lethal, who held that title oh. almost longer than anybody. One of the longest reigning champions in Ring of Honor history. Great pump kick. Thrust kick to the midsection there. Looking for it here. Lethal is... Oh, caught him. Bolidor spins him out. And the quickness of Bolidor. Super kick. Big clothesline from Ultimo Guerrero. Wait a minute. Catches him back. Trying to shake it off. Close to the midsection, forearms across the chin now. Delivering the knees. And some revenge for what he did to the boys. All four men inside the ring now. And it looks like all four men perched up top. Oh, wait a minute. Dalton's going for that Rana. Sure is. Olandor. Big super bomb from Ultimo Guerrero. Polidor jumps out of it. Oh! Guerrero took out his own partner! Sure did kick to the midsection now. Into the corner. Oh, staggers him. Wait a minute, this could be it. From the top? Yeah, he likes this move, Cole. Looking for the ball to spiral. Oh, block. Winners of the match are Timo Mulder Jr. and the Ring of Honor World Champion, Dalton Kessel!